so today we will solve a numerical from tension member and this question is from block shear strength so question uh, says that determine the block shear strength of the tension member as shown okay so this is the figure uh, in this figure there is a angle section that is isa 80 into 50 into 8 <coughs> so uh, this is uh, 80 from this point to this point it is 80 and this is a thickness so to visual uh, to make you visualize this uh, angle section i have a atm card holder so uh, try to understand so if i if i uh, watch this uh, uh, angle section okay this is the angle section now so here if i uh, watch this uh, angle section from the top you will see this so you will see this uh, from this point to this point and you will see the thickness so thickness is equal to the 8 millimeter here this is the thickness okay and this is uh, 80 millimeter so this is 80 millimeter and it is connected with the gusset plate suppose this is a gusset plate this plate is a gusset plate okay and there is a two bolt here and here like this here and here so yep uh, and this angle section is used as a tension member that means uh, you have to apply some tension uh, on this side and on this side f side okay then uh, it the a block may tear out uh, from this angle section okay so obviously so let us come back to the figure uh, here um, in this figure uh, block you have to find block shear strength so what may happen if you apply some tension force in this direction okay in this direction then uh, this block okay from this point like this this will be the uh, line of failure okay it will go uh, along the center line on the bolt okay and here also it will touch the center point and then it will uh, it will uh, shear out okay then you can you can also assume that this part will shear out okay but it will not happen why because if if i assume that this part will shear out okay in this uh, in this part total area will increase so uh, it is most uh, likely that when you are uh, you are having smaller area that will uh, govern the failure okay so this part will govern the failure okay so block shear means this block will sh sh uh, will shear out okay so the failure line will be passing to, uh, to towards this line that means it will pass to uh, towards the center okay then like this so that means if i say like this so here there is a bolt here and here so it will go in this direction okay suppose there is a bolt here okay so it will come to this path okay so so assume that there is a uh, so uh, hole there is a hole so the block shear line will, pa will be passing towards uh, uh, towards the central line of the hole okay and like this so i hope you can understand now the uh, block will look like this so this will be coming out from the angle section and you have to find the block shear strength of this angle section okay now if we uh, if you can, if you can remember uh, the code okay so in this code in is 800 page 33 clause 6.4.1 the block shear strength is given is described so it is smaller of two values tdb and tdb so this is one equation this is another equation so you have to find these two uh, values of the block shear strength then out of these two or uh, two values which will be smaller that will be the block shear strength of this angle section okay now here uh, you go to the page uh, 33 of s800 then uh, first formula in this first formula tdb is equal to a v g into f y by root 3 gamma m 0 plus 0 0.9 a t n by gamma m 1 and on the top it is f u 
second formula in second formula g is uh, 0 0.9 a v n a few by root 3 gamma m1 and it is uh, a t g f y gamma m0 so now what is a v g a v n a t n a t g so you have to find this first one is a v g then second is v n third is t g and fourth is t n okay now if this block shear out okay in that case we are, we are applying force in this direction so the line or the area parallel to this to this force will be the shear area shear area that means if you uh, if you see the uh, uh, definition of this vg in this page number you can see that it is the gross area in shear that means if you apply force in this direction then this force is parallel to this line that means this line okay and we have to find the area on that face on that cut face okay and that should be the gross area that means you will not deduct these holes so what we can do we can find uh, the total length from this point to this point okay into there will be some thickness of this uh, small element or block so you have to multiply that also to find the face area face area on on the on this face okay so it will be uh, so look at this figure it is 50 and it is from cent uh, from outer edge to center it is 50 from center to center it is 100 so from this point to this point it should be 50 plus 100 okay 50 plus 100 into thickness is equal to 8 millimeter okay then uh, a v n so the net area in shear that means in this uh, equation in this uh, a v n part you have to deduct these holes so from this point to this point it is 50 plus 100 so you have to deduct one hole this is a hole diameter from this point to this point okay and from this point to this point it is half of the diameter that means so here the bolt dia is equal to 18 so hole will be 20 millimeter so you should deduct 20 minus 10 this is for this hole and this half the hole diameter is for this from this point to this okay i hope you can understand into it then atg that means okay so if you apply this force in this direction then this face will be subjected to tension force because you are applying some tension okay then so this bc line will be subjected to tension so you have to find this uh, gross area from this point to this point that means you have to find this face uh, face area if you see from that side if you see from that side okay so you have to find this area from this point to this point and this should be gross that means uh, here in this figure you can see that it is 35 so it is it should be 35 into 8 you should not deduct the hole now in case of a t n you should deduct the uh, holes that means here it should be 35 minus uh, this half of the diameter of hole so this minus 10 into 8 okay now here you know fy so it here fy should be fe uh, 410 so we can fe 410 and bolt grade you can assume 4.6 okay so here fy will be 250 mpa and if you will be 410 410 okay and you know that when uh, uh, whenever 
uh, there is a yield strength you have to use a factor of safety for the yield strength uh, of 1.10 and in case of ultimate strength you have to use factor of safety of 1.25 so now if you put these values okay these values in these equations okay so first one t db1 you will get i will not uh, show you the total calculation so i'll just uh, write the answer so it should be 218.86 kilo newton okay and uh, t db2 that means this one it should be 231.34 kilo newton okay let me show you one value okay so this t b1 okay, let me show you this one so t d b2 okay 0 0.9 into a v n it should be okay let me see 984 millimeter square vg it is 1200 millimeter square and uh, it is 280 millimeter square and it will be 208 millimeter square so a vn it will be 984 984 into 410 by 23 into as i have used uh, uh, 410 that means ultimate strength we have to use 1.25 okay plus a tg a tg means this one 280 into 250 by uh, 1.10 okay and you should multiply 10 to the power minus 3 to convert it into kilo newton so it will be 231.34 kilo newton okay so uh, so out of these two values smaller one is this one so the block shear strength of the angle section for this arrangement will be 218.86 kilo newton so i hope you have understood uh, and if you don't understand then i will recommend you to go through the previous lectures uh, and the lecture notes and then try to understand